Hi and welcome. This is JT from United Yearbook, and I wanted to spend just a few minutes talking about photo captions for your yearbook. We will talk about four main things today. First, why are captions important? Second, what are the main parts of a caption? Third, how to actually write the caption itself. And fourth, having a style guide for your captions. Okay, let's go. First, why are captions important? You've heard the old saying, a picture is worth a thousand words. Well, I'm not sure that's totally true, especially for a yearbook. Now, it is true that when you open a yearbook, the first place your eyes go to the pictures. A good picture does indeed tell a story, but it usually doesn't tell the whole story. There are important details that the reader of your yearbook will want to know, details that can't be seen in the picture, and that's why you need a caption. You know, they've actually done studies where they tracked the eye movements of people looking at photos that had captions, and they found that people usually looked first at the picture, then at the caption, then back to the picture, then back to the caption, in a very predictable rhythm. In fact, nearly one-third of the time people spent looking at the photo, they were actually looking at the caption. One-third. That's a lot. There's something else when you're thinking about why captions are important. A yearbook is a pretty unusual book when you think about it. It's a book that you might go through once when you first get it, but then put it on your shelf and not look at it again for five years. But it will stay on your shelf and then get pulled out 10, 20, 30, even 40 years from now. And by then, your memories of high school will probably have faded quite a bit. And those pictures on those pages, who are those people again? She looks familiar. Was that the fall dance or the spring festival or which? Wait, I used to know his name. He was the quarterback. Who, who was that guy again? So if you do your job well in writing photo captions for your yearbook, you will answer those questions for your reader maybe decades before they even ask them. Okay, second question. What are the main parts of a caption? See, photo captions do actually have a structure, and it's a pretty simple structure. A caption should typically have three sentences, and each sentence has a purpose. Sentence one, you describe what's happening in the photo in present tense, but don't be redundant. Add important details. Sentence two, here's where you give additional information about the event, the people, the situation, etc., usually in past tense. And sentence three, this should be a quote, ideally from one of the people in the photo. Now, let's spend a little more time on each of those sentences. The first sentence. This is where you use some of those W's. You tell the reader who, what, when, where. Imagine in your head, let's say, that you have a sports photo in front of you. A photo showing number 89 catching a pass during a football game. Don't write, quote, our player, number 89, catches a pass in a football game. I mean, that's pretty obvious, just from the picture. Your job as a writer is to add something. Who is number 89? What's his name? When did the game take place? What was going on? Who was the game against? Who won? So a better first line for that football caption might be, Receiver Rick Trejo goes high to catch a pass in a September home victory against Polytech High. Now notice again that it is in present tense. Rick Trejo goes high to catch a pass. Okay, second sentence. Sentence two allows you to give more information about the photo, the events surrounding the photo, or the person in the photo. Using our football photo as an example again, a good second sentence might be, quote, Trejo was the only sophomore to make the all-league team this year. Or maybe, quote, this was the first time in three years that our school beat Polytech, end quote. See, the second sentence gives you a chance to answer two of those other basic questions. Why and how. Why is this photo important enough to include in the yearbook? How was this event significant? Notice that sentence two is written in past tense. Now, the third sentence is a good place for a quote, either from one of the people in the photo or from somebody else connected with the event. Now, quotes can be surprisingly hard to do well. 
For example, again, using our football photo, here are some bad quotes. Quote, this was the first time in three years that we beat those guys, said Trejo, so it was a good night for us. End quote. Now that's not a bad quote, unless it's totally redundant to your second question your second sentence. If in your second sentence you said that this was the first time in three years that you'd won, and then your quote says this is the first time in three years that we'd won, then it's redundant. Captions are really brief. You don't have any room to be redundant. Another bad example of a quote sentence. We played hard, said Treo. I was proud of all the guys. Uh, yeah, thanks there, Captain Cliché. If the quote isn't interesting and it doesn't really add anything to your caption, then either A, find a better one, or B, just skip it and add another, quote, second sentence with more information. One last bad example. Those bleeps tried to bleep us all game, said Trejo, so I guess we showed those bleeps who the bleeping bleep is. Uh, no, but thanks for playing there, man. Uh, like all the other parts of your caption, your quote should be positive and not critical of anyone. So, good taste, people. Okay? So, those three sentences, that's the basic structure of your caption. Now, let's talk about the actual writing of a caption. First part, be interesting. Sometimes people look at that sentence one, two, three format we just gave you, and they get locked into a boring formula like it's just the facts, please. But I would encourage you, don't be afraid to be creative in expressing those facts. Not all of your captions need to be poetic or whimsical or over the top, but a few of them could be. Sure, you need to be a reporter, but also, most importantly, you need to think of yourself as a storyteller. A yearbook tells the story of this year at this place. So tell that story the best you know how, and captions are a huge part of telling that story. Don't be afraid to use a thesaurus to find more interesting words, but be cautious about thesauruses, because if you overuse it, you can result in captions that just sound weird. So be sure to use words that you and your classmates would normally use. Now, as a yearbook writer, you're in an interesting spot, because you're actually part of your own audience. The people you are writing for are your friends and your classmates and your peers. So here's a clue. If you think your own caption is boring, it probably is. Also, a note about attitude. Really try to be positive. Now maybe that's easy for you with your personality, or maybe it's not so easy. But your default attitude in writing a caption should be upbeat and encouraging even if that means putting a rosy spin on some things. You don't want people picking up this book 10 years from now and getting depressed because the yearbook told them that their senior year was sucky. Another point about writing a caption. Be informed. If you don't know anything about soccer, you probably shouldn't be the one writing the soccer photo captions. If you don't understand, understand chemistry, you might want to find someone else to write that caption for the lab photo. Don't try to fake it, because usually it shows. Next point, be quick. You should try to write the captions as soon after the photo was taken as possible, so that all the details are still fresh for you and for anyone that you need to interview. Now, if you're trying to write captions for a bunch of photos that are months old, then boy, you've got some work ahead of you. And that's the next point. Be willing to work hard. Sometimes you can write a caption from your desk, but often a good caption will require you to get up and go do some research, ask some questions, talk to some people, and gather some information. Be willing to do that. The next B, be accurate. Be sure that your wonderfully written articulate caption actually describes what's happening in the photo. It is possible to write a creative description a caption that has little or no connection to the photo at all. Don't do that. Also, about accuracy, two other points. There's no worse feeling than seeing yourself in a yearbook photo with your name spelled wrong or left out altogether. Second, 
be sure every one of those who, what, where, whens are double checked. So be accurate. The next B, be fair. If you hated this year's theater production, maybe you should get somebody else to write the theater photo caption. If you are frenemies with this year's Homecoming Queen, get somebody else to write the captions of her crowning at halftime. Captions are not a place for your opinion, and they're sure not a place to air grudges or score points. A couple more things about that. Don't assume you can read a mood just from a photo. Looking at a photo, you might want to write about the, quote, discouraged women's soccer team when they weren't discouraged at all. They were just tired. Solution? Ask the people involved how they felt at the moment that photo was taken. And a note about being funny and the line between fun and funny. You know, there are some photos that come across your desk where, wow, it can be really tempting to be snarky or sarcastic or oh so clever when writing the caption. But it's really hard to know where that line is, so it's much better to err on the side of caution. Number one rule, don't hurt anybody's feelings in their yearbook. If you think you're even getting close to the line, run what you're writing by a few other people, including your advisor, and maybe including the person who's in the photo. If other people don't think it's okay, if they think you've crossed the line, leave it out. And the final B of this section, be literate. That is to say, don't be sloppy. Check your spelling, check your grammar. Try to use active voice instead of passive voice when you write, like the woman saved the lion, instead of writing the lion was saved by the woman. That's active versus passive. And as mentioned earlier, avoid redundancy. Wait, didn't I say that already? Okay, fourth point. Have a style guide for consistency in your yearbook. Now this is more for your advisor or for your editor or whatever your team calls the leadership positions, but it's good for you to know. A style guide is a rule book. It lays out what you do in various situations. And it can include things like capitalization rules. Which words are you going to capitalize? Which are you not going to capitalize and when? Or how many people in a candid photo get identified? For example, if you have a candid photo of six women running cross-country, do you identify each of them? Or do you just say something like, quote, several cross-country runners endure the heat during this meet against Polytech, end quote. Is there a cutoff? That is to say, if there's four people or less, you name them individually, but if there's more than four, those are questions you have to answer. Do you include the class year of people in your pictures? And if so, what format do you use? Do you say, Senior Bev Martinez? Or do you say, Bev Martinez, parentheses, SR, end parentheses? Or is it, Bev Martinez, parentheses, 19, parentheses? Or do you not include their class year at all? When describing events, are you going to reference exact dates, like October 13th? Or are you just going to refer to the month, October? And is slang allowable in your captions? Now, there are no right and wrong answers to these style questions, and that's, that's not the point. The point is consistency, so that all the sections and all the pages of your yearbook, all of the captions, follow the same rules and the same formatting. So that's all I have. Well, almost. I do have an offer for you as we close. If you would like us to review your photo captions, please follow us on Instagram, at United Yearbook. In the comment box of our post on photo captions, just post the photo you're trying to caption, along with your first draft of a caption. And we'll send you back our suggestions and our feedback. So again, this is JT from United Yearbook, and I hope this was helpful. See you next time.